Tuesday morning's Kyle and Jackie O show was a complete disaster as presenter Kyle Sandilands viciously chastised his team live on the show due to a number of embarrassing concerns. After a string of technical difficulties and arguments with producers plagued the train wreck show, 52-year-old Sandilands launched a vicious barrage of invective at his colleagues. Sandilands lost his cool and turned on his colleagues, with the popular Sydney radio station currently facing off against Melbourne breakfast shows in a ratings war. Fools. I deal with illiterates. The entire thing has devolved into a load of shit. I'm just saying. Technically sh asterisk t, he started to rant. His first agenda item was the embarrassing incident from earlier in the broadcast, when a producer forgot to renew the station's YouTube premium subscription, causing commercials from a YouTube video to interrupt an entire section. S asterisk asterisk t, the advertisements that appear when someone fails to pay their credit card. The phone wasn't functional last week, according to Sandilands. We still need to manage this show and hope it succeeds, though. Is that accurate? All these issues, I'm just supposed to, just ignore them, is that right? Tensions escalated, causing awkward silence that even co-host Jackie O. Henderson refrained from speaking. Brooklyn Ross, the newsreader with whom Kyle had a falling out earlier in the show over how poorly the Tesla was selling, likewise remained quiet. Peter, in turn Pete Deppler, a news presenter, finally raised his hand to challenge the station's head honcho, but Sandilands promptly stopped him. He asked, how about someone with some authority? Executive producer Pedro Cacavillo Vitola stepped up to receive the verbal abuse. We are working on it to try and make sure it's good, but the technical stuff isn't ideal, Vitola stated. That's what you've been telling me for weeks. Sandilands retaliated before Vitola interrupted him, asking, Are you telling me we can't stop an ad blocker on the YouTube machine because we've got to keep an eye on your pathetic? That was my fault, he declared. I raised my hand. Yeah, then why is that allowed to happen? Sandilands persisted. Are you losing your mind? Do you know what is expected of you in your line of work? I do, Vitola replied. Since the machine does not have it, I use YouTube as a backup. Ah, a Kia advertisement we must listen to. How embarrassing, thought Sandilands. The radio shock jock continued, claiming that viewers would never witness something so ridiculous or embarrassing on Sunrise with anchor Natalie Barr. Could this occur at Sunrise? Never. The Kyle and Jackie O show debuted in Melbourne on April 29 following 40 consecutive polls that saw it top Sydney Breakfast FM radio. This is when the on-air error occurred. The Fox's Fifi Box, Brendan Fevela, and Nick Cody, whose breakfast radio show has also found significant success in Melbourne since its launch in 2014, have put the risque radio program squarely in competition. Jackie, 49, took aim at their rivals last week, dealing yet another blow to the ratings battle raging across Melbourne's airways. Only a few weeks after Keys FM's The Kyle and Jackie O Show debuted in the southern capital, the top-rating radio personality attacked Fox FM's breakfast slot competitors Fifi, Fev, and Nick for their copycat marketing strategies. Last Wednesday, Kyle and Jackie took a break from their program to list the tricks and parts they thought were being plagiarized from their own. You know, I'm not sure if I find it ridiculous or funny, or if I enjoy the competitiveness, Jackie said to the audience. Because I feel like I shouldn't really be participating in these silly games as a grown adult, the speaker said. The co-hosts were furious that the Fifi, Fev, and Nick show had adopted portions from the Kyle and Jackie O show, such as The Noise, a guessing game where callers can win a costly gift, and you get a. Additionally, they made fun of the Fox FM program for employing DJ Cyril from Melbourne to mix live on air after he was a guest on the Kyle and Jackie O show and provided music for the Melbourne premiere of Keys FM. The pair also observed that their competitors were copycatting social media postings and even marketing designs.